on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. I mean, I'm not going to say that like that, though, because there's pl- there are plenty of women who are not mothers and they're no less worthy of womanhood just because they're not mm-hmm. a mother or because they can't have children or because they don't want children. I mean, women want different things. Yeah, it's true, but no, I didn't I, So let's just go back because what you said was we were made to procreate. So that's what you said. Right, I mean, and then on oh, previous stuff you've always said, and you preach, I'm never going to have a child out of wedlock, God forbid. And you got to have a husband. So therefore, out of your words, we are made to procreate. But in order for that to work, we need a, a husband in the home. So why not just say we are made to be a wife and we're made to be mothers? That's our primary goal here. All right, child, again, make sure y'all get the likes up. We definitely appreciate y'all tuning in tonight. Also, subscribe and show some love. Support the channel. Hey. We're going to start our first topic. But before we do, men have to wake up. We have to decide what type of life we want to live. If you don't decide... We leave it up to the women, society, and other people to lead and dictate to you. Women like a man with a vision, a plan, and a purpose. When you don't have that, you get distracted. And that brings me to my first topic, which is, if a man doesn't know where he's headed, he doesn't know who belongs on that path with him. Let me start with you, Courtney. Let's talk. Yeah, I um, totally agree. I think a man walking around um, aimlessly with no purpose is a dangerous man because he's going to have a whole lot of people that follow him. It's going to be around him with no purpose. So it's going to be a group full of fools. So I totally agree. If you don't have a purpose, then you're not going to know or how to align yourself with people that's not going to help you with your purpose, but help you align with it. So, yeah, uh, you got to know where you're going and what you want to be. And then understand that you need people to help align with you. I know me personally, you know, I've had to cut off a lot of people because I understand where I want to be. I've even had to cut off family members because they didn't align with me. And at this day, you know, it's not play. It's not play time. It's serious time. So you got to know your purpose and understanding that align yourself with people. um, That's going to get you to where you go. Okay. If a man doesn't know where he's headed, he doesn't know who belongs on that path with him. You're muted. Sorry. Um, I absolutely agree with that. Um, Similar to what Courtney was saying, if you don't know where you're going, you're going to kind of haphazardly just have all types of people around you. Um, You're not going to be walking your path clearly, I guess you could say. Um, So, yeah, definitely. If you don't know where you're headed, you're not going to know the types of people that are going to help you get there. Okay, Chicago Rilla. If a man doesn't know where he's headed, he doesn't know who belongs on that path with him. Man, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, JR. Mm, let's um, talk. Man, and, this, and the, listen, I want to talk to the young bloods right now, man. The man doesn't know where he's headed. This is something we've been talking about, being on your purpose. You know, Anton talks a lot about being on your grind, being on your purpose, being strategic. And listen, I know some of y'all um, think I'm supposed to go at Anton or whatever every week or this, that, what? Week. facts. Cause I, 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 you know, anyway, let me get this man. Cause I continually give him his roses while he's still here. That show you had Monday, bro. Show me a different side of you. And, uh, let me just tell you, I appreciate the man that you are. And, um, we can, we can disagree on a number of things. We probably will continue to disagree on a number of things, but I understand who you are. And one thing that I did understand coming from that show was that before you were formed in the womb, there was a vision for you. And so when you talk about the man who doesn't know where he's headed, 
he doesn't know who belongs on that path. When you listen to, and I'm just using you as an example, bro, and I'm not trying to take, take your thunder because there's, there's a number of men out there where we didn't have uh, that insight, that nurturing, that protection, um, that insight, that guidance, you know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of us, you know, as we get older, we're just starting to figure some things out. It's where you hear all this red pill stuff from, right? You know, how 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 much further along would a lot of men been uh, had they got that red pill early in life? How they got it at 20, you know? Um, so with, with, with in reference to the young bloods, this is the message for me, I've been consistent in, in this regard at least. Man, stay on your purpose, stay on your grind. It may not be popular, you know? Um, some people definitely not going to agree with you, but if you don't know where you headed, if you're not charting that course, if you're not locked in to who you are, if you're not in tune with who you are as a human being, as a, as a, as a, as a, a full being, being human, right. Then you're not going to know who's supposed to be on that path with you. That girl, that, that goes for girls, right. <laughs> you're not going to know who's a thought. And who's, you know what I'm saying, wifey material, right? And then you're not going to know the dudes. And I thank God the way I was raised, man. The dudes that I that I rock with, you can say a lot of things about me, uh, you know, whatever. You can say a lot of things. Uh, you can say you can say a lot of things, period. But what you won't say is the guys that's in my cypher, they, man, I've known these dudes, you know, 20 years, 10 toes down. And we hold each other accountable and we support one another. We've been there through childbirth. We've been there through marriages, failed marriages, all types of situations. Right. And so these are the type of dudes that I rock with that, you know, in, in certain situations, they give sound, sound wisdom, sound advice. Now, whether I take it, <laughs> take heed to that advice is, is one thing. But imagine if I had went the path of, you know, some other dudes that I grew up you know, same block, same opportunities, same schools, whole nine. Imagine if I had taken the route that those dudes took, right? So the man that doesn't know where he's headed doesn't even know who's supposed to be on that path with him. That goes for girls, dudes, and all otherwise, man. And that's what I'm telling the young bloods, man. Like, man, you know, be mindful, be careful. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Facts. Anton, if a man doesn't know where he's headed, he doesn't know who belongs on that path with him. I want to make sure that um, my audio is clear. I'm in a new spot. Wi-Fi is spotty, all of that. So I just want to make sure that everybody can hear me. Well. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, cool. So first and foremost, let me say I appreciate you really for shouting me out and all of that. Um, you know, I do live my life like an open book and that I allow people to see every intricate detail of my life. My mom was on there. I done brought my, my wife on there. Um, and you know, I do. I try to fashion my life and my purpose based off of what I believe. And so my belief is based off of spirituality, right? And so when we talk about spirituality, we, we talking about really being purposeful. And so the whole idea behind that is that I don't really care about who around me. It don't really matter. Like I'm focused. I got something that I need to accomplish. I need, I got something I need to do. And I'm just truly of the belief that the people that's supposed to be around me is the ones that's going to be provided for me. I'm not focused on anybody else. And I mean, anybody, I just released a vlog on my main channel where me and my chick was having a conversation and she was trying to convince me to take days off or, you know, focus on her or whatever like that. And that's a no go. It's a no go because I got a, I got an objective, something I need to accomplish. It's something I need to do. And so when you confident like that, and when you really, really dialed in and you really, really zeroed in, and I've been zeroed in for a long time, Ever since I was a young person, I've been zeroed in. When you really zeroed in and you dialed in, you learn that it don't matter how close they are. It don't matter if it's your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle. You have no ties to anybody. 
based off of blood. You have no ties to anybody based off of friendship. For me, it's all business 100% of the time. It, my own, I, I got blood brother, a brother that I've completely cut off because he don't align with the direction that my life is going. It's as simple as that. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about feelings. Even my mom, my mom sometimes would be like, Anton, you need to chill out. Nah, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't move based off of anybody else's. I take insight. I take into consideration the people that's smart that, that I glean from, but ultimately the decision is yours. And, and, and you have to really, really lean into what it is that you know and the foundation by which your or the direction that you're going in has nothing to do with nobody else. So for me, it don't even, it don't even matter about who on the path with me. I'll go alone if that's the case. I'll journey the whole way by myself because I don't need a whole tribe of people that's behind me or rock with me. My whole thing is, is this the right thing to do? Because often at times, and I'm gonna just say this last part, often at times, what you'll find is that the most unpopular thing to do is the way in which you're supposed to go. It's the thing that most people disagree with. If everybody is saying, yo, this is the right thing to do, I start to question it because I understand that the majority of the, of the decisions, especially when it comes to doing the right thing or making the right decision, it's always going to be the minimal amount of people going that way. When you look at careers, when you look at somebody becoming a doctor, when you look at STEM fields, most of the time, it's a shortage of the people that look like you or surround you that's going in that direction. And ch chances are, that's the space that you're supposed to be in. That's the direction that you're supposed to go in when it comes to righteousness, when it comes to doing the right thing, when it comes to everybody saying that most people get divorced. Well, clearly, I'm supposed to be married because if most people is getting divorced, I want to go the path that yields the best results, not that's the most popular. So I'm not, I'm not looking to, you know, impress 8 billion people. I'm just looking to reach the people that's, that's actually looking to hear the voice of a person that lived his life like an open book and really living the results. And it's going to be a bunch of other people that fall off. We don't want to reach 8 billion. I just want to reach that cool 100,000 that's really looking to do the work and put in the, and, and get the substance. So you got to know what you're doing. You got to be, be clear headed and you have to have to be on your purpose. All that other stuff, you can, you can just throw that away because it ain't about being popular. It's about being right. Yo, just, just real quick question, Anton. You know, when I looked at um, your joint Monday, and again, that's probably one of your best episodes, man. So again, salute to you 10 toes down, like straight up. I can't say that enough. Um, you know, the thumbnail that you use, man, you use mm -hmm. that to illustrate a point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you talk about, I, I think the most impactful thing, man, was your mom's talking about that dream that she had about you. That had that yeah. helped me see you in a completely different way, bro. I, I, and I hope you appreciate, and I'm not saying this to be um, pretentious or anything else, but I really hope that you see what she was saying with that dream. That just, it made all the sense in the world in terms of how you move, who you are, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, you know, the interesting thing about that, that cover, Everybody got mad at that cover because they was like, yo, you know, you saying that this person is in jail. The whole theme of the show was that I was groomed from birth to be this way. But the important part about it is that just because they was around you or they was raised with you don't mean that they supposed to go the whole way with you. Like sometimes people grow in different directions. They don't mean that they a bad person. It just means that I'm going here now. You had a part in my life and now we got to move in a different direction. So. I'm going to dip off actually probably for about 10, 15 minutes because uh, this area is not good for this audio. And I, I feel like we need to be able to have this conversation in depth. So I'm going to dip off a little bit and then uh, hopefully we can link up. I'm going to get a whole nother background going or whatever like that. All right. All right. We're going to keep the show going. Uh, we'll see Anton shortly. So the question was, if a man doesn't know where he's headed, he doesn't know who belongs on that path with him. Uh, I'm going to chime in on this a little bit. Uh, when I was growing up, I always had a vision. But with in my situation, I didn't know how to put that vision in place. So so often a lot of people may have a vision, but like they just can't get it started. Like they don't know, you know how to bring it to life. 
Um, I grew up in a single parent household. I grew up in the projects. Um, I was the oldest. Um, I didn't have anybody to look up to. So everything that I was doing, it was kind of like I had to fail before I learned. Um, I want to say about I was always the smartest kid um, in my class. I always took pride on making sure that I was always in the top 10 of my class. Um, I went to college uh, just because it was what I was told to do. Um, when I went to college, I was just as lost. I don't even know how I even uh, passed. But a lot of my friends was on academic pro probation. And um, the first, my whole freshman year, I never made it on academic probation, which was good. I was partying, just living life. So at that time, I still didn't have a vision. It wasn't until maybe my junior year, I realized that um, I needed to put this vision into place. Um, it was fear. Fear was one of the things that that held me back. Um, it was also how I grew up. You know, nobody never explained anything to me. So um, I decided to, you know, change that. And I decided to make sure that I wanted to make some changes within my life that was going to be that I can look back on when I'm gone. And 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 my kids can look back and say, hey, you know, dad did this, dad did that. So um, I just want to kind of encourage people that it's never too late to actually live your purpose. And it's very important to live that purpose because you can't be a leader as a man if you don't have a vision. And like once you discover your vision, you will see that the people will follow you. So the, the same friends that I grew up with, now they look up to me. I have family members that look up to me. I have um, people that I meet, strangers that look up to me. And it's because of the vision. I had a vision for this platform and I wanted to bring value to many people's lives. I wanted to also have those tough conversations and look, we here now. So never be afraid to put your vision into play. Never fear your vision because we only got one life and you, it's okay to fail. Just keep going. Just keep doing it. So that's just my story when it comes to uh, that topic. Also, um, I want to ask you guys on the panel, should a woman know where she is going as well? Okay. Most definitely. Um, I think women should have a vision for what they want to do in their lives, um, where they want to go, things like that, what they want to do uh, in terms of relationships, uh, just getting to know yourself. Because I think if you're not, if you don't understand yourself, you'll have a hard time finding a um, functional relationship. Um, also, for those that want to go on and get higher education, go on to careers, things like that, you should definitely have a path and follow it so that you can achieve the goals that you want to achieve. Okay. Courtney, should a woman know where she is going as well? Um, absolutely. I probably going to take a little different spin with Kay because um, I hope I'm not getting feedback, but um, I think with women, we need to understand first the idea purpose of us. Uh, once we understand that we are a helpmate and we understand that we are, you know, creating ourselves to be wives, and understanding that we are created to be under a man's lead, then that's what I think that we need to be focused on. And that's our, our sole purpose. Um, we can work if our husband tends us to work. If we have a career, that's fine, but that's not our, that's not our, our goal. So I think for me, and what I think what women need to be focused on is understanding how to become a wife and letting the man lead and understanding that our sole purpose is to help the man in his vision. Men are visionary, men are leaders. We are to help him with that. So that's what I think our goal is. Once we understand our role and get within our goal, man, we, we gonna be strong in this community. 
Yeah, I think you touched on my, my next question, which is dope. But before I address that, what you said, Chicago Rilla, should a woman know where she is going as well? Yeah, I felt I felt like uh, part of what court was getting into was leading into some of the other um, show topics, too. But I think absolutely um, the woman needs to know where she's headed. Right. I think the challenge with modern women is um, that they think the destination is the same as men a lot of times. And listen, I'll concede the fact that a lot of times they've been forced into that position. They've been forced into that position. But the but 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 the natural order of things, um, you know, and I'll agree with Courtney on this is for the man to lead, cast a vision. Our nature is prophet, priest, king, protect, provide cast the vision so absolutely i you know yeah that's that's a no-brainer the woman needs to know where she's headed um and for those women who are in situations um where they're forced to lead their households uh you know you do what you got to do you do what you got to do one thousand percent but make no mistake um that uh you should know where you're headed and you should know your nature and it's it's the same with men men should know their nature and, and when we understand one another's nature man this thing would be so much easier if we stop fighting against the natural order of things it would be so much easier if we stop fighting against one another really you preaching no nah, i'm just I'm, I'm really saying because um you know i i i i'm looking at the landscape I'm paying attention, I'm researching, I'm doing my deep dives. And, uh, you know, we're making this thing way harder than what it needs to be. And, um, you know, for the woman, understand, yeah. You know, there's a what you're hearing from black men right now, you're hearing and feeling a lot of pushback. Um, and it's <laughs> what you're hearing from men is valid. And I think that's the part that's being lost. We need you, we want you but we want you to also hear and need us. So part of you knowing your vision, who you are, what's your goal, what's your what's your place, all these different things, it's not a negative thing, man. It's really not, it's really not. And so, um, you know, I don't wanna belabor the point, but yeah, women need to know um, where they're headed and what their vision and mission is too, man. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I agree with you, Rilla. Um, I was into a podcast earlier um, that really got me my feelings. It was a woman that was speaking about the role of a woman. And um, the podcaster asked her, uh, he was like, well, you know, well, do you see any hope for the black man and the black woman? Do you see any hope? And she said, no, we are too far gone. And I was livid because we're not. We've gone a far way. And I would definitely agree that, you know, black women, we have gone away. But the thing is, is that we were taught to be this way. I was taught to be a modern woman. I wasn't really taught to be traditional. I was taught to get your degree. I was taught to don't lean on a man, don't need a man. You get your own just in case he messed up. You got it. I was taught to make sure financially you're a OK. So I was taught to be a man. But that's not innately what I'm supposed to be. I was taught that. So are we far gone? No, we just have to relearn. So I think, mm -hmm. let me ask you the question this way. If a woman doesn't know where she's headed, she doesn't know who belongs on that path with her. Right. That's correct. Well, that's, I was going to say, that's my next question is, oh, my bad. Is, <laughs> yeah. well, it's not, it's not that it's the opposite of that, but it's what if the woman knows where she is going, does that dictate what man should be in her life? Okay. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to K on this one. Mm -hmm. Come back to you. Okay. What if the woman knows where she is going? Does that dictate what man should be in her life? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. If you know that you're trying to have a certain type of life, you get a certain type of man in there um, to, you know, work together with, uh, to build that life together with them. Um, if you know as a woman that you want to, I don't know, be a doctor or a teacher or whatever, you want to get your education, you want to have this career and make a difference, um, you have to get a man that understands that. Uh, I think that roles within relationships are more complicated than just like, okay, the man just tells me what to do and I follow it. It's more so, of course you follow your man's lead, like in my relationship, I'm not gonna say what everyone's doing. Um, but I think that it is important for your man to support your dreams and things that you wanna do as well. So if you have um, you know, something that you wanna do in your life before, let's say even before you start looking for a husband or before you start seriously dating, um, you have to keep in mind those things when you are starting to look for that man that you wanna um, go on the journey with, I guess you could say. Well, let me ask you something, okay? Um, because I, I hear what you're saying, but what should be the woman's sole purpose? Women have multiple purposes. What is a woman created for? Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not really religious, so like my answer. You don't have to be like religious. Um, women are created uh, to procreate with men. I mean, to have offspring. We were, so we're created to be mothers. And so in the previous shows, of course, you know, you are highly in tune with having a mom and a daddy in the home. That's what you preach all the time. That's why you don't have any kids because you're like, I'm never going to have kids unless I have a husband. So that's you understand that we our bodies were made to be mothers. And you said it out of your mouth that in order for you to be a, an amazing mother, you need a husband. So therefore, mm -hmm. we're made to be wives and we're made to be mothers. I mean, I'm not going to say that like that, though, because there's pl there are plenty of women who are not mothers and they're no less worthy of womanhood just because they're not mm -hmm. a mother or because they can't have children or because they don't want children. I mean, women want different things. Yeah, it's true, but so, I didn't I, so let's just go back because what you said was we were made to procreate. So that's what you said. Right, I mean, and then on oh, previous stuff you've always said, and you preach, I'm never going to have a child out of wedlock, God forbid. And you got to have a husband. So therefore, out of your words, we are made to procreate. But in order for that to work, we need a, a husband in the home. So why not just say we are made to be a wife and we're made to be mothers? That's our primary goal here. Um, Because there's no biological function of being a wife. The reason I mentioned procreate is because biologically people have sex and create children. I mean, if you ask me the same thing about men, I would give the same answer. They are the other piece to that puzzle. Like we can't just be the only ones. So I don't, I mean, I'm not going to say all women are made to be wives and mothers because say honestly, because we understand that there's no absolute, but majority of us that are able to bear kids. And again, you say we did we, God forbid that we have it out of wedlock. So we're made to be a mom. We're made to be wives. That's our sole purpose. Career is secondary. It's up to each individual woman to determine what their purpose is in 2021. Well, like, like, I think I, I'm I think, not I think there might be a disconnect. I'm not sure. I think K, I, I think what we have to understand is what societies has done to you, okay? Um fear of not following the man. It's like you're so like detached. So when a man comes into your life, you don't know how to act because you built it on self and not God. But why are you saying that? How do you know? 
well, because of your response, you said in 2021 that women are that free women to do whatever. women have individual purpose. Right, they have individual purpose. And that's the problem that we're experiencing right now is that so many women like yourself think like this. And so the argument that we're saying is that that lifestyle, that mindset is incorrect. Really, chime in on this. Yeah, I, I, you know, for me, I, um, you know, man, we're making wet stuff way more difficult. I, I, Courtney, I hear you. I, I, you know, there is a primary purpose for all of us, whether we ascribe to a, a religious doctrine or not. Um, there is a primary purpose, and I think in Western culture, it's baptized us to think that like all of these other things are primary and all of these other things are important and you know uh <laughs> it's out of necessity some of these things that we do and again i alluded to um you know some of these things that we do some of these things that women do are out of necessity women you know kevin samuels talks about um you know <laughs> hips and shoulders and yeah. how hips are made to bear the burden of birth, right? Of bearing a child. And shoulders for men. Like, yeah, how sure. do women really understand the weight of the world that's on our shoulders for men? Women could never, never, I don't care what planet, Pluto, Saturn, women could never bear the burden of what men bear and there's a, there is there just is I, I, this is my honest belief there is a primary purpose you know for all of us and, and jr you know i don't want to get too far into what's going to go into the other topic because i feel like this is all bleeding in mm -hmm. i don't want to you know i don't want to shoot i don't want to empty my clip but <laughs> um i'm serious like i really don't but there is a primary purpose for all of us and we build off of that. You know, you constantly hear what you constantly see with men is the need to protect and provide. Even when it's dysfunctional, you see men reverting back to their primary purpose, their prime, their innate function. You see men do this like all the time. Even men ain't stopped. You said what? Men haven't stopped. Men have been traditional from the get go. Men have wanting to lead the house from the get go. It's women that has got out of our role. But I'm, we, but I'm saying, and let me let me let me make this point, Court, because I, I think we align on this part. Mm -hmm. Because I, I I I harp on this all the time on the show is that we're real people having real conversations, real time, speaking about real stuff. So even when you think about the dope boy, the dope boy has a mindset to protect and provide that's his even if it's dysfunctional that's his innate that that's what his function is think about it he gonna protect his block protect his turf protect his hood protect who he considers to be family and he's gonna provide for those around him whether it's giving out turkeys or you know you look at the bmf model man the bm anyway all right all right i don't want to i don't want to empty my clip 